Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Outside the Lanes. I'm your boy, Terry Bateman. And I'm DQ Manley. And today, we are going to be interviewing D.D. Nathan, a former IU track and field athlete. For those who don't know, she won the Olympic trials back in 2000 to qualify for the heptathlon in Sydney, Australia. And don't forget, she became IU's first track and field women's Olympian. She's also a two-time U.S. champion, 2000 and 2001. 2000, 2001, and don't forget, she is the 1999 World Indoor Pentathlon Gold Medalist. Gold Medalist. She's also a seven-time Big Ten champion. Seven. And a six-time All-American. Six. And not last but not least, she is an inductee of Indiana University's Hall of Fame. And we're going to get right into the interview right after this. We are here with Didi Nathan, and we have a few questions for her. She's going to give us a little feedback on what's going on and how her life was here at IU. All right, so you were recruited by other powerhouse uh, schools for track and field. What made you choose IU? Actually, my family. They wanted to be able to come visit, come see me perform and compete, so I chose IU. Purdue also was recruiting me, okay. and my stepfather was a Purdue fan. And I came down to visit IU, and I just I liked it. I liked the coaches. I liked the, the atmosphere, the teammates. My teammates, who eventually would be my teammates, were really awesome. So I chose IU. Okay. okay. And talk about your experience as a student athlete here at IU. Was there anything like, that was like that stood out and was like really memorable? Oh, it was the most amazing experience ever. Mm -hmm. These four years, those four years, would be if I could relive any of the four years. In my, of my life so uh -huh. far, it would be those four oh, years. Yeah, just <laughs> awesome. It, it's just, uh, you know, you grow as a person, you expand um, athletically, and you meet a bunch of people. It's a very diverse campus, yes. and so it was just a, a great all around experience. Okay, and then um, you finished fourth at the Olympic trials in 92 and also in 96. Uh, how was it like battling the adversity to, to make it in 2000? <laughs> I just had to make some changes. I mean, and basically, it, it was like personal changes in my life. Like I couldn't. I already had a very regimented life, but then it, it turned into no dating, no nothing. It was all track. It was all church, all track, and that was it. And that was all I did. And I was determined because I was 32 in the middle of the big team to make the team because that was it. That was the last chance I would have. And so either. You know, God kind of made it real clear that you do it right, or you do it my way, or you don't go. And so after that, I just made a decision that that's what it was going to be. I like that answer. I like that answer a lot. Each sweet brief trap. And then, what does it mean to be IU's first female track and field player? You know, I thought about that on the way down here, and I thought about that really I was just determined. I was just adamant. It wasn't that I was the fastest, mm -hmm. I wasn't the strongest, I wasn't the best athlete by far out there in the country, but I was just so determined, I refused to give up. Mm -hmm. I stuck to it, I was 32 when I made the team. Most people make the team at 28, yeah. you know, in their 20s, and I just stuck it out, and it just worked out for me. Mm -hmm. Really, honestly, it just worked out. But to be the first, I, it, it is a, a testament to perseverance. That's oh, yeah. what it is, yes. that's exactly what it is. All right, and you're here to talk to the IU track team, the IU track field team, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your message to, to student athletes? Uh, you know, it, really what I would want them to come away with is to embrace this experience, to expand and grow and let the coaches push you, because it is, it gets uncomfortable, you don't like some things, focus on your academics, make sure that you achieve academically. I'm, I'm four degrees strong now. Um, graduated my first one in 92, which was, I was supposed to graduate in 90. So I didn't graduate until 92, but then after that I, I see three more, two masters, two undergrads at this point. But really, get your education because in the long run, in the end, that's what's going to carry you. The athleticism, it'll take you as far as it's going to take you, and some people's careers will end sooner than others. But you'll always have your academics and just embrace this experience, soak it all in. You will never have anything close to this rest of your life, and then you will always come back. And you will remember this about college. And you'll meet your best friends here. You'll meet some of you. You'll meet your mates here, and your life goes back. And this is such a the environment at IU is amazing, and I love it. And I come back every chance I get. Anytime they ask me to speak, I come back for every Hall of Fame induction. Now that I'm in the Hall of Fame, and it's just embrace it, embrace it. You you will you will miss it when it's gone. Trust and me. And let's see if you remember stuff about IU, well, about your experience anyway as well. What did you did your freshman year? Where did you stay at? 
your yeah, freshman year. Well, you're about Foster Harper. Foster Harper. Harper. That's, that's, yeah. that's still on it. That is. They, they, they still see people Foster Harper. 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 On the end. I wish I was that lucky. I stayed at Teeter. They had us pretty far one year. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. I know. And then I was football in the Briscoe. Did they put people in Briscoe still? Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. They actually brought the track and field back. So I wish yeah. the Harper's track and field. Yep, they mark them. Well, thank you for talking with us, and thank you guys for listening. And come back for the next show on Outside the Lanes, and don't forget to follow us at IU Track XC. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Get as much out of it as you can. Don't let anybody tell you no and accept it. Push through your difficulties, your adversities, the things that stress you. You're supposed to be stressed to certain levels, and you're supposed to be stretched. Let your coaches stretch you. It's going to hurt. That hurt. It hurt a lot, in a lot of different ways, but I will take nothing for my journey now. It has been an awesome experience. Like I said, I love coming here. I love being down here. I love talking to athletes. I love watching you guys compete. I keep up with it. I want you guys to enjoy your experience and take advantage of every opportunity that you get and embrace it. And that's it. Thank you.